Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and right off the bat, I'm going to address something. You know, a few months ago, I said, boy, when I get this new camera, I'm going to do some live videos. Well, I've got the new camera, and I still haven't done a live video. Well, if y'all remember my buddy Brandon over at Rustic Woodworks and family, he started doing live videos every now and then, and I've watched them. It's kind of piqued my interest in it a little bit. So what I'm looking at in the near future, I mean, it's not going to be immediate. I am going to do a live video and just kind of see how it goes and see how everybody interacts. And uh, I'm just going to give you a heads up. The downside of it is I'm going to have to do it from in the house. I still don't have the equipment yet to make it where I have Wi-Fi in my shop. We have Wi-Fi in our house, and I'm not going to set up a whole new Wi-Fi just for the shop. I mean, I'd just a waste of money in my opinion. So just keep an eye out for that. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do another logo sign. This one I'm pretty excited about because it is a local business. It's a business that has been established for hmm, 30, 40 years. And it's named called Billy Cook Saddles. Billy Cook does leather work, uh, well known around the rodeo circuit. They do a lot of really nice fancy saddles. Uh, tack for the horses, all the extra leather stuff, reins, belts, you name it, leather, and they're doing it. And the really impressive thing about it, it's all hand-tooled. They don't have any of the big fancy machines that do it. It's all hand-tooled. There's actually a room full of people back there stamping stuff in this leather, and that stuff comes out amazing. So I intentionally thought I was going to shoot a little video there, and put it on here, and I went by there. I didn't bring my camera. It's about right, didn't bring my camera. So, the upside is, this is number one of two logo signs I'm doing. The second logo sign's different. They have two logos they use a lot on different stuff, and so I've done the one they put on their saddles all the time, this time, and, or I'm going to do the one that they put on their saddles this time, and then I'm going to do the other one next time. And when I go to do that other one and I stop by there, I will take my video camera and shoot some footage and show you some of the leather work they do. It is amazing. I've got a little card here, and I'm going to tell you how to find them. You can look them up at GenuineBillyCook.com, Instagram at GenuineBillyCook, and Facebook, Billy Cook Harness and Saddle Manufacturing. I'm going to put all those links down below in the description, so if you want to go check their stuff out, you can, or if you need to order something from them, you can. And I'll also leave their phone number down there, just so you can get a hold of them the old school way. So guys, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cut a Billy Cook logo, so let's go.
So there we go. That thing came out great. Uh, the logo they already had. The only difference was is they didn't have rope around it, and that is something they requested. So I really cheated on this one and had my daughter do the computer work. She is in her last semester of her senior year uh, in mass media, where she'll do social marketing, social networking, photography, anything like that for a business. And so she's got all the fancy software to throw graphics out there. I generally do it, but I thought, hey, let's have an expert do it. So I had her put the rope around it. And I mean, it came out sharp. This one's gonna look amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a coat of tube of poly on it. Not necessarily to make it super shiny just for the protection of it, because this is a working business. I mean, it, they're still in there making stuff all the time. What they needed the signs for is whenever they put their photos and stuff on there, they throw a sign behind it so you know who makes the saddle or anything else that they're selling. So guys, that's gonna be about it for this one. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.